Hi, I'm Chuck Dorsett for Weaver Leather Supply, and this is The Leather Element. If you've got a good question for us, or a good idea for a leather element, drop it in the comment box below. Also, if you want to know when our videos release, just click your notifications. You'll know exactly when these come out. So thinning our contact cement. I talk about this all the time. This is a big help for us leather crafters, because for us, it's hard to get through a can, even a pint-sized can, before that glue starts to thicken, starts to go bad on us. Well, first off, we've wasted hard-earned money. But the bigger problem, and I think you'll agree, we get halfway through a project, our glue's bad, we have to put the brakes on that project and walk away. To me, that's more irritating than losing the money. But if we add a little thinner, changes the whole game plan. So let's step over to our pattern table, see what our glue's supposed to look like. I am neither a chemist nor even an expert on contact cement, so this is just my opinion. But to me, there's two ways to tell if our glue's starting to go bad. Now, side note, we've got a big window there. But as our glue starts to thicken, starts to get older, it's going to have less and less holding power. Now, here's what I like to do. Let's use a brand new jar as a baseline to see what our glue should look like. Now, I've used a lot of the retail glues out there, and they seem pretty consistent in color. But right there, that's what we want. Notice that nice beige color. But also, notice how it drains off the brush relatively quickly. Let's apply some of this to our leather. There we are, it goes on easily. That's gonna wick into our leather, and that is gonna be a good, strong bond. That's exactly what we're looking for, okay? Now let's step over to a jar that's actually the reason we're doing this video. This is not Barge's fault by any means. I found this can behind my dies, and I don't even think the lid was on it well. So this is the bad end of what we're looking at. But notice right there, notice how very thick, and that's actually got a very dark brown color to it. Let's try, try to apply this to our leather. Yeah, thick and gooey. Okay, there we go. Now let's try to apply this but notice it basically just rolls off the leather. That is not going to wick into the leather, and it is certainly not going to be a good bond. That's an absolute mess right there. So let's do this. Let's step over to our main table. I think this may be gone. My fault, again, not barges. But I've got a can over here that's not as far gone. Let's add some thinner, see what we can do with it. Let's keep in mind, both products flammable, and we need good ventilation on these. Let's be careful with these. Let's keep our shop safe. So right here, I've got a can, little past where I should have let it go, but it's starting to darken and it's starting to get pretty thick. Let's apply some of this and see what happens. Right off the bat, I can tell it just doesn't want to sit down on the leather, but also it has kind of a plastic look to it. All right, so let's do this. With our thinner, now I can't give you great proportions on this. A pint, this is 16 ounces. I probably got about five ounces in here, give or take. So what I wanna do, let's go easy on this. Again, hard to measure, but we're gonna go about an ounce, about 0.02 liters. So let's, let's do this slowly, that's the point. So I'd say that's about an ounce, give or take. Okay, we've got this mixed up. Let's see what happens. In fact, already it looks better. Yes, there we go. It's starting to lay down nicely. Good. Okay, still feels a little bit thick. So let's do this. Let's go maybe just about half an ounce. About right there. Okay, let's see how this lays down. And again, already looks better and feels better. Good, we've got a nice square there. So let's do this. Let's add some glue over here because the big point here, how does it hold? That's the priority. Okay, we've got some glue on that piece. So I'm gonna give that about 10 minutes. Let that glue dry and wick in. We've given our two pieces about 10 minutes. Now it looks dry, it feels dry, but it is certainly tacky. So let's lay this down and see how well this holds. 
Now, typically I would like to give this several hours to dry before I start working with it, like say on a project, but let's give this about 15, maybe 20 minutes. We're just going to see how the bond is. We've given this maybe 15, 20 minutes. So let's see how this, well, to be honest with you, pretty happy with it. I might could add just a little bit more. The point there is that the glue itself is wicking into the leather and it almost looks like the leather is giving away more than the glue. But also here's the big reason for the rule of thumb in leather craft with glue. If we're going to tack to sew, just go with a simple white glue. It's going to work. But if we're going to tack for permanent, let's go with the contact cement. So this is a big help to us because I hate wasting product. For us leather crafters, Profit, typically not the point, but if we can save a little harder in money and a whole lot of irritation, well, that's just a win-win situation. I hope this is good information for you. Thanks for taking time to watch the leather element. Good luck with your projects.